Before we begin, it's important to understand what exactly Ionic is. Ionic is an open source framework that is optimized for all things mobile. It enables you to build mobile apps using HTML5, JavaScript, and CSS. Ionic is built on top of AngularJS, which means that all of your pre-existing Angular knowledge will be put to immediate use in your Ionic development. Ionic is specifically built for Cordova apps and makes use of native device features. Conceptually, you can almost think of Ionic as Bootstrap for mobile. Like Bootstrap, Ionic provides a framework, out-of-the-box JavaScript components, and CSS. It provides developers that solid foundation upon which to build their apps, and it can easily be customized to meet your specific needs. Here's a quick look at the Ionic website at ionicframework.com. You'll see a brief homepage that gives some features of Ionic right from the start. You'll also see this getting started link, which I highly recommend that you work through. Of course, we'll be working through almost the exact same thing in the course so you can get up and running with Ionic in seconds. The doc section here is excellent. And you're going to see uh, different sections here for CSS and JavaScript components. The documentation, unlike some other open source projects, is outstanding. And you're going to put it to use immediately. The showcase section of the site shows existing apps that are already in the App Store that are built with the Ionic framework. And you just can get a quick look at the various options you have for building apps using the Ionic framework. One thing I really like about this screen is the diversity of the apps. It shows you that all of the apps can look much different even though they're all built with using the Ionic framework. And this really drives home the point about how customizable the framework is, particularly from a look and feel perspective. We also have the Ionic forums where users can easily get quick answers to any problems they're running into. Also, Stack Overflow is very active for Ionic as well. I also recommend you subscribe to the Ionic blog. It keeps you up to date with everything that's currently happening in the Ionic community.